What is going on guys, it's Argon657 here, and today I bring you another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle against the YouTuber Tickle Me Chat, his channel is in the description below. So, as you notice, we are having an Aru battle, and uh, there's actually some new Pokemon that I got to use finally in Aru, um, being the Mega Blastoise and the uh, Mandibugs, both of those Pokemon got moved down to Aru. So, I'm going to actually lead off with Blastoise, and uh, he's going to lead off with Needle King. I actually expected him to lead off with Needle King, because I can possibly one hit KO him with the Water Pulse. So, he's actually going to go to his Araquanid, which is most likely his uh, Sticky Web, because most Araquanids play Sticky Web with uh, possibly Focus Sash. Um, so, um, at least I'm going to be able to break the Sash or something with the Water Pulse. Now, um, I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse, because... That's my only way of preventing him from setting up uh, webs because of the flinch. Now I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse. I do get a critical hit, however, I don't get that flinch, so that kind of sucks. But he's going to be able to get up the Sticky Web, which actually, realistically, um, the thing is, he's attached to this team. I actually do not have any form of hazard removal. Yeah, it kind of looks like my Blastoise, Amanda Buzz can have Defog, but actually my Amanda Buzz does not carry Defog. And my Blastoise does not carry Rapid Spin. So those webs are right here to stay. So essentially, I'm just going to go to my Manda Buzz because I know that he's going to most likely going to go for the Leaf Blade or the Spirit Chakra. Um, if he decides to go for the Z move, it would have been wasted already. I mean, my Manda Buzz is very bulky. So uh, I can pretty much take hits all day long. And this is more of a toxic stalling um, Manda Buzz, like for physically, uh, for physical attackers or something like that. I mean, it depends, but. It's not a toxic stall anything, but I would say it's more of a bulkier, uh, uh, Manda Buzz. It's max defense, max HP, so, um, he's gonna go for the substitute, predicting me to go for the toxic. I did actually go for the knockoff to go with the leftovers, um, but I do carry the rolling, so I'm pretty sure he does not know this yet, but now I'm gonna reveal to him that I have the, uh, whirlwind. Now, he can set up calm arms and stuff, I'm not too worried about this comfy. To be honest, like as long as I have my uh, Amanda Buzz and Whirlwind, um, I should be able to just Whirlwind it out. It's not much of a threat. And I can also take um, Draining Pistons as well. Um, and if he does try to set up Palm Wines and get out of hand, I can just go for the Whirlwind. So he's going to go and, uh, get Whirlwind into his uh, Decidueye. Now I'm going to predict him to switch out this time and go for the Toxic. So now I'm going to be able to. Uh, uh, wear him down and, uh, Slug Calm Mind, um, uh, Draining Kiss, and, uh, he could potentially have the, uh, Synthesis or the, um, uh, Aromatherapy, but I'm gonna go to my, uh, Pharisee, which can actually wall the, um, uh, Comfy, cause, uh, he's gonna go for the Draining Kiss, it's actually gonna do 10, uh, 10 damage, um, as you can see, he's actually gonna do more harm to himself than he does to me. Uh, cause that Draining Kiss did absolutely nothing. Now, uh, Draining Kiss, uh, although it's a special attack move, it does make contact with Thorthorn. Not Thorthorn, like Pharisee. Um, cause Pharisee, uh, has the Iron Bars and stuff, so I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks, cause I know he's going to switch out. And I could've stayed in here and gone for the T-Leaf, but just in case he, for some reason, wanted to set up a sub or something like that. Cause, uh, I don't know, he, he could run, uh, a substitute set, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, he's gonna have Sword Stance, and it probably looks like he does not have the Substitute, so that's pretty good. So, um, he's gonna go to his, uh, Needle Queen, and I'm gonna go for the Whirlwind, expecting him to switch out. And, um, he's gonna go to his, um, uh, Kamala. Now, I know that this thing can carry Rapid Spin, uh, it's very common. So I'm just going to go for the knockoff, I want to see what item he's holding, and uh, the knockoff does a decent amount, but uh, he turns out to be a salt vest. So um, he's going to go for the return, and return's not going to do too much for my Amanda Buzz. It's actually going to do about a quarter, it actually doesn't look like a 4 hit KO, so. Um, so uh, I'm able to take those returns all day, and I can just go for the roost and stall him out. So uh, really, uh, not that uh, big of a deal though, so, uh, so yeah, um, he's gonna go for the return and, uh, the, um, uh, return does nothing to my Pharisee, so I'm just gonna go for the Gyro Ball, 
and he's gonna go to his uh, Needle Queen. Now, Needle Queen, I'm not sure if he can have Fire Blast. I mean, I know I can learn Fire Blast, but I just don't know if he has it. But he's gonna go for the Ice Beam, and he was going to. Uh, he's actually gonna put me in range where Earth Power will knock me out. Uh, but I'm able to bring him down low enough to where I can just Revenge Kill with uh, any one of my Pokemon, with uh, either my Lightning. But um, he's most likely gonna want to save it for later, so. Uh, I'm just going to go for the safe extreme speed, so um, he's going to end up going into his uh, uh, best sprint. Now, um, he could still potentially heal wish or something like that, but I'm going to switch out because I don't want to take an, a hit from this thing. So um, I'm going to go into my uh, Manda Buzz. He's going to go for the knockoff and uh, get rid of my leftovers, but that's not a big deal. Um, because he's going to withdraw, and he's going to go into his, um, uh, Komala as Death Fodder, so, um, he's going to, uh, pretty much sack his, uh, uh Kamala like I just said, and he's going to finish him off with the knockoff, and, uh, uh he's going to go to his Needle Queen, now, I'm going to switch out, because I do not want to take an Ice Beam, uh, I want to save it for later, I'm going to go into my, um, my um girder and uh he's gonna go for the sludge wave now i'm gonna go for the um mock punch over here because uh i really want to take out this needle queen but he's gonna predict that and go into his um uh comfy over here and i'm just gonna go for that mock punch just to play it safe and uh, the toxic damage is racking up on him uh, sorry about the lag uh but he's gonna go for the draining kiss and Draining Kiss, uh, it's not going to do too much to me, um, but I'm just going to go for the Ice Punch over here. And uh, because he's Toxic, um, I can easily wear him down quickly with the combination of uh, Toxic and the Ice Punch. Now he's going to go for one more Draining Kiss, going to weaken my um, Girder a little bit. But um, yeah, at this point, um, I'm just going to be able to finish him off with the uh, Toxic Damage plus Ice Punch. So, down goes the, um, uh, Comfy, and, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he's gonna go to his, uh, mess grid over here, and I'm just gonna switch out over here, uh, no, wait, never mind, I actually go for the, um, uh, Ice Punch again, just in case, uh, just because I was trying to sack off my Girdle, but he ends up going for the Healing Wish, uh, which is actually sort of bad, though, because now, um, uh, he's gonna bring in his Needle Queen and become full health. So, um, what I could have done was gone for the Mock Punch, but it really does not matter, to be honest. Uh, but he's gonna go for the Sludge Wave, take me out. Um, now here is sort of, I, I think it was the minimum maximum damage rolls. And, uh, he's gonna go for the Ice Beam, and I'm gonna go for the Knockoff. And I end up living with 1 HP, when I was kind of surprised, I was actually expecting him to just knock out my, um, Mandibuzz from there. Now, I really shouldn't have, uh, sacked my Mandibuzz like that because I still needed it for the, uh, Decidueye. Because Mandibuzz can actually still take on, uh, Decidueye 1v1. But, uh, I'm able to get rid of his Life Orb, and I'm gonna go into my Blastoise. Now, um, this is looking pretty bad. There, There's actually a chance that I may lose the battle, but, uh, we'll see. Um... I'm going to go for the uh, Water Pulse, and I'm going to take out the Needle Queen. Now, he does have the um, uh, Decidueye, and I think he... No, wait, that's his last Pokemon. His last Pokemon is the Decidueye, and he's going to finish me off with the Leaf Blade. And, um, yeah, uh, my Blastoise is down, and I'm going to... Um, Go into my Whimsicott. Now, I wanted to go for the Memento, but um, I decided to go for the uh, Moon Blast because uh, I want to be able to see what he wants to do. And I want to go for the uh, Memento, not Memento, the uh, Moon Blast. I'm going to go for the Moon Blast first and then go for Memento just so that way I can come in with Linoon and just uh, take him out with the Shadow Claw. Um, now I'm going to reveal to him that I do have the Memento. Um, so, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna sack off my uh, Wimpscot and he ends up actually going for the uh, Z move over here. And I was not expecting him to have the Z move. Um, I really thought he, he, he was gonna like maybe go for the... Uh, well, actually, I figured he might want to go for a Z move. But um, it turns out he wasted his Z move, so... Uh, now that he's at neutral health... Uh, not neutral health, neutral attack, so I'm gonna be able to take this uh, Leaf Blade, I'm going to get my Agua Fairy over here, and I'm going to be able to just finish him off with the Shadow Claw, so that was actually a 1-0 victory in my favor, it actually came down pretty close, um, uh, yeah, so, um, that was a pretty good battle, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment below, leave that like button, and subscribe to my channel, and also check out uh, Tekomi Chad's uh, channel as well, he makes pretty good battles and stuff. So, um, yeah, he also uploaded his side of the battle as well. So, I will see you guys later.